Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it's time for hot taste. I've got two, two hot, supposedly hot, we'll find out, snacks um, that I have purchased with my own cashy money, sort of. This one actually came from my Munch Attic box that I get my snacks around the world from. It is a product of Mexico, and we're going to try this here in a minute. This is something that I definitely see as different. Listen. There's a powder in there. Yeah. This one, I got it Dollar Tree. I found this interesting. Manufactured by NNH International Inc., Patterson, New Jersey. Product of USA and Spain, but it's a Lotte Mexican street corn flavored snack mix. What? Do we have an identity crisis? And also on the, on the side here, it does say, Classic street corn flavors, spicy, tangy, cheesy, and a picture of corn. So, let's deal with the Deborah Proof packaging first. It says about two and a half servings per container in this because it is how big of a bag? Two and a quarter ounces, 64 grams. Let's get a snurf of this. It smells like it could have a little spice to it, but it doesn't like, whoa, hit me in the face. It is definitely a snack mix. See all the different pieces and types in there? All right, I'm going to get a little handful of them and stick them in my hand and examine them. Give you some of those too. It looks like some kind of little bread piece, some kind of little extruded piece. Looks like a corn nut. Looks like another extruded piece. I'm not sure what these are. Let's find out. Hmm. Not tasting any real heat yet. You will? Okay. I was told that I will. By someone in the ether. No. <laughs> My friend's sitting over here trying the snacks along with me. It's got a little spice to it. I'm, I'm getting it now. Let's try a little corn nut looking thing. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It's got a nice crunch. It's different. Okay. The more you eat, the more that the spice builds. Yep. But if you're a chili head, you're going to be like, yeah, whatever. Give it to my four-month-old baby. Okay. If you're not a chili head, you're going to go, woohoo, that's got a little spice. If you're like a total beginner. For someone like me, you're going to go, yeah, a little spice, but it's good. Good. This is a snack that I would pick up and eat. Not overwhelming. No, not overwhelming at all. You can speak up, hon. It's all good. It's not overwhelming. You could definitely add some of the uh, <laughs> the pepper spices to it. <laughs> pepper powder. Take it up a notch or 12, okay? But these have a nice warmth without being overwhelming. If you have a friend or you're having friends over and you have like some friends are like, give me all the spice, just give me 17 habaneros on a stick and I'll shove them in my face. And then you have other friends that are like, oh, not so sure about all that give them these this can be like a gateway spice to them because it's not hot they can say "Ooh, I ate something Mexican spicy without it being bad it's actually it's pretty yum actually I would buy these again uh, yeah there's two thumbs up happening over there definitely two for me as well fat chick approved by the way um I would try to find these in a bigger bag because Dollar Tree is now a buck and a quarter tree and that's how much this bag was, which is still not bad for a bag of snacks if you've gone to a convenience store lately. Hello. But I wish they sold these more places. All right. I'm going to put that down before I sit there and eat the whole bag. Because, of course, I would. Have a drink of my tea. And by the way, it's my birthday month. In case I hadn't told you a million times already. There's going to be a giveaway going on for this channel. Um, I don't have it sitting in here with me. There's going to be giveaway for this show, actually, for Hot Taste. 
It is some hot sauces, a whole collection. Yes, I will mail them anywhere that is willing to take packages from the US. So make sure you tell your hot and spicy friends that they should get in on this, if nothing else. If they're not into the crochet, fine, I get it. I have a lot of varied interests. So yes, my crochet name is Crochet Life and Stuff. This is part of the life and stuff. And there's a lot of life and stuff, you know. All right, a little sip of tea. Now we're gonna try out this. This came from my Munch Attic box and I thought it would suit better here because it says that it's hot. Taki's Fuego with chili powder to dip. Artificially flavored chamoy acidulated lollipop with chili pepper powder. All right. And I guess if you wanted to, if you wanted to get fancy or super hot with it, uh, stick some of that 13 Flames of Fire that Chris Miller makes in there with it, or one of those other pepper powders that I got from Jimmy Pickles. There are possibilities. Okay, again, we're not going to attempt packaging. They're just going on the table over there. Don't worry, I'm not just throwing them on the floor. Ooh. All right, let me show you what you get. You get a bunch of powder at the bottom and whatever this is, it's something on a stick. You know where that's from, you know where that's from, okay? Wow, that smells hot. Woo, that went right up my nose. I mean, I was breathing it in, so that kind of makes sense, but yeah. I mean, it would have gone someplace else. Okay, sorry. Let's see what this is. Let's dip it in the chili powder. What the hell? All right. Oi. Yes. Yes, indeed. Wow. Y'all, chili heads, search this out. See if you can get your hands on some. I'm not sure what this is. It is some kind of lollipop that's not based in Sweet World. Wet it with your mouthpiece. Shove it in the powder. Each chili powder. Mmm. Woo! Mmm. And now again, some of you chili heads will add something else hotter to it. This for me, this is lighting up my mouth a bit. Not too bad. It's not overwhelming. It's fun. I want to eat more. It's fun. Mm -mm -mm. One serving, 70 count. <coughs> Excuse me. Chili dust down the throat will make you cough. Word to the wise. All right. One serving, 70 calories, and it's one serving in this whole container. So, yeah. Does not look yummy. Chili powder. That, for me, is a thumbs up. That is a fun hot. This is not a blow your head off hot. It'll be too hot for some people, but I am by no means a chili head. I'm just like a baby chili head. Okay, I'm growing chili peppers now, but I'm not just gonna stick one in my face, if that makes makes any sense. But this, this is a, I, this is a candy essentially, I think. I mean, Mexico has an interesting idea of what candy is. I think this is a candy, but I like it. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you for popping into hot taste with me. Here, you can try a bit of that. And um, I still don't understand what the lollipop is made out of. I don't get it, but that was good. And if you need more of a kick, if you just have to have that capsaicin boost, might I recommend adding some Jay's Red Scorpion to it. There you go. That'll do it, that'll boost you. That'll give you the capsaicin hit that you need.
personally today, I don't need it, but I'm just saying. What do you think? It's like um, tamarind. Is it? Similar. Similar to tamarind, okay. But what do you think of the chili powder on it? Good. Dip it, do it some more. Get you another dip. This is like Mexican fun dip. That's what it is. What are you calling it? Dip? It's Mexican fun dip. I'm, f I'm here for it. I am totally here for it. And if you get a chance to find these, you may be able to find these at uh, some of the uh, Mexican groceries around. I don't know if you have any Mexican groceries near you. You may be able to find it and have some fun with it. So, uh, yeah. Tell your kids if they want to have some fun dip, they have to eat this first. Who knows? You may turn them away from the sugar and towards the chili. Would that be a bad thing? Probably not. Maybe so. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks again for coming by to Hot Taste. Uh, again, tune in next week for my birthday week because there will be giveaways, including on this show. So, appreciate you. I'd love it if you hit the like button, if you subscribed, and also leave me a comment. Tell me if you tried these snacks before. Have you had actual elote preparado before? You know, like corn on the cob with all this stuff on it because that's my favorite ever. Um, have you tried the snacks? What are your hot snack recommendations? Tell me, please, down below. I'll see y'all very, very soon.